So you finally made it to the point in your restoration project where you've got everything disassembled and now you're faced with the fact that you've got countless more hours of meticulously cleaning all the parts that you just took off. However, uh, today we're going to present a solution that will make your process fast and a lot more enjoyable. So before us today, we've got some cylinder heads off of some antique little motorcycles. These were actually sent in by a customer for free application testing. Mm -hmm. And so what our goal is today is to show you the different finishes that you can get from your wet blasting machine on these parts. So first, in the VH800FL, we're gonna be using a 170 to 325 mesh class bead. Mm -hmm. And then on this other cylinder head, we're gonna be using another VH800FL. It's actually the original one. We're gonna be using a 220 grit aluminum oxide. And with this last cylinder head, we're gonna be using a 120 to 270 mesh ceramic bead. So you're gonna be able to see a lot of different finishes mm -hmm. here. That way you can figure out which one you like best on your build and also what you need to use on your parts. So first up, we've got the VH700 here, and this has the 120 to 270 mesh ceramic bead. Now ceramic bead is very similar to glass bead in that it's gonna provide a brighter finish. It's also gonna be smoother. Um, it will be a little bit darker because ceramic bead is, um, it's not hollow like glass bead, it's a solid abrasive. Now, one of the advantages of a vapor hunting machine is that it doesn't matter what your part looks like beforehand. So if I had literally just pulled this off the bike and it was still coated in oil, it had all the grease on it and whatnot, I could easily throw it in this machine with no issue because the water is actually able to wash away all that grease and grime that's on your part. So it saves you a ton of time if you guys are shocked to look into this because you're gonna be able to just grab a part, immediately throw it in, and then pull out an amazing looking part. While Ryan's over here working on his part, I'm gonna be over here with the 800 fully loaded. And like Ryan said, this is one of the original plastic cabinets back in 2016 when John rolled them out. And we've been using it ever since. And this definitely shows how durable and reliable these machines are. So durable that we actually throw them from a 60 foot jib. But inside we got 220 aluminum oxide. This will easily strip off any dirt, grime, or some carbon buildup and a little bit of paint. And it's gonna be very efficient. It's gonna be very quick and definitely gonna give us a little matte finish. So let's try it out. So last up, we've got the VH800FL, and this has the 170 to 325 mesh glass bead in it. Now, typically that is the brightest and best finish that we can get, but the ceramic finish that we just pulled out looks amazing. So now I am very curious to see how this is gonna end up looking. Also for reference, we've been blasting all these parts at around 100 PSI. Um, you, do, you do get a better finish if you lower the pressure towards the end. Um, but just to keep our processing times quick, we're going at around 100 PSI. All right, guys, and we're back. Um, so right now we have we start off with ceramic bead, and it looks phenomenal, pristine almost. Then in the middle we got 220 aluminum oxide, which I did easily stripped off all the dirt, all the grime, and there was some paint and carbon buildup right in these little corners. And last but not least, we got the always reliable glass bead. Even comparing the glass bead and the ceramic, ceramic, and again, it's a finer abrasive, and the pristine and shine, sh you know, the aesthetic looks phenomenal. Um, but again, they, they've done incredible jobs. Um, just cleaning them up, and some of them polishing, you got the aluminum, it's more of a matte finish. Again, if you are interested in wanting sort of more of a um, nice, shiny aesthetic, you can definitely go with ceramic or glass bead. Right, and to kind of talk through when you would want to use these abrasives, mm -hmm. of course your 220 aluminum oxide is gonna be your uh, pre-coating prep. So if you wanted to powder coat this part, if you wanted to coat this part, we would absolutely recommend an aluminum oxide. I would actually personally re recommend a 120 aluminum oxide just to give you a little bit more grip on the surface. 
Um, ceramic bead is great because it does provide a comparable finish to glass bead, but it actually lasts about 10 times longer. So mm -hmm. if you guys are doing any parts that are engineered to need a certain tolerance and you need to keep that spec throughout a long mm -hmm. run of production parts, that's where ceramic bead comes into play. Yeah. Um, again, because it doesn't degrade as quickly as something like the glass bead does. And to go along with what John was saying, glass bead is tried and true. It works every time. You're going to get a nice finish. Plus, it's economical. So mm -hmm. to charge up something like our VH800FL, it's $25 to put all the abrasive that mm -hmm. you need inside that machine. And again, you're gonna get results just like this every time with glass bead. So this is kind of a good comparison between all the abrasives. Hopefully this helped you guys out in your selection. And again, this saves you a lot of time. If you're a mechanic or a hobbyist doing this in your garage, mm -hmm. or if you're someone who's doing this on the industrial scale and you wanna start doing this to your parts as you're remanufacturing or manufacturing them, web blasting is an amazing solution. It's something that you guys can get to any, get into at any price point. And remember, we have our trade-up program. So if you start with our smallest machine, you can easily turn that into a larger one without losing any money. Again, thank you all for watching. We're John and Ryan with Vaporon Technologies, and we hope you have a good day. Peace. Peace.